kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and guys this will be the part 7 of my video series on Firebase 2018 and so guys in this video I will teach you how to use the Firebase cloud messaging in your Android applications. Alright guys so we will talk about the Firebase cloud messaging. Alright let me first of all show you. Alright, so here is the documentation for setting up the Firebase Cloud Messaging Client app on Android. Alright guys, so first of all we need a dependency uh, of uh, Firebase Messaging. So for that, go to your build.gradle file and inside that you just need to copy this line and paste it below here and instead of database you need to write messaging all right and now you need to click on synchronize now and it will take uh, some time to load the dependency and the library and after uh, integration of the dependency into your android application all you need to do is you need to create a service which will get the instance id event okay so let me show you token id basically okay so we need the device uh, token id from that service so for that let it first compile alright and now we need to create a class so let's create a class and name it as my firebase instance id service alright and we need to extend it with firebase instance id service alright and here we need to override the method on token refresh alright and here we need a string refresh token equals to firebase instance id dot get instance dot get token alright and we need to initialize the service inside our android manifest so go to android manifest and here you need to specify the service and here you have my firebase instance service close that and inside that we need to use an intent filter so let's create an intent filter and inside that we need an action which whose name will be com.google dot firebase dot instance id event alright that is it we have initialized or i mean we have initiated the service inside our android manifest dot xml alright guys so the next step is we need to use uh, we need to create another class okay and that will be used to receive the uh, notification inside our android activity so for that let's create the class named as my firebase messaging service okay and then we need to extend it with firebase messaging service and inside that we need to override the method on message received all right so let's remove the super method from here and okay so i will write the code to fetch the i mean the message or the notification inside this activity 
so I will write the code at the end and now what you need to do is you only need to initialize this in your Android manifest file so for that you need to use service and inside that we need for my firebase messaging service again you need to use the intent filter and inside that you need to use com dot google dot firebase dot messaging event alright this is a very simple and now in our my firebase messaging service inside that we can get the title and the body of the message so for that first of all let's say string title equals to remote message dot get notification dot get title all right and again we need string body equals to remote message dot get notification dot get body all right and in here we can display the toast message and since we are in we have this uh, service or we have a class so what we need to do is we need to use a handler all right and now we can say handler dot post new runnable and inside that we can display the notification so first of all we can display the uh, title then we a semicolon and then we will have a the message here however that is very simple and now okay so here we can say toast dot short dot show and since they are saying that the variable is accessed from within uh, inner class so we need it to be final alright guys so that is it it's very simple so let me connect my phone so that I show you the output if it is working or not So now my phone is connected with Android Studio and now let's run our application and let's see if it works. ok guys so now my application is installed in my phone and now the application is running and we are in the profile part alright guys so let's go to your firebase console and here click on notifications from there you can generate the notification alright so here click on new message and inside that you need to enter some text for the notification so we can say this is a test message alright and there we have a label let's say Harun and after that select your application ok and let me open my and there I have sent and here you can see the message here alright let's send another notification and this time let's say hello hello and we need to select the app and in our advanced option we need the title so we can say this is 
title however now we just need to click on send message and here I have sent the message so now here you can will see the message this is title and hello alright guys so it's very simple and you can also create the notification inside that so I will create another, another video if you guys want so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye